Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about mkdir command and cd command in unix. So this is our current directory unix training. So how we will see in which directory we are present. To see you can type pwd that means what is your present working directory. So my present working directory is unix training. To see what are the contents present in this directory, we need to type ls-lrt as I discussed in my previous video. You can go and you can see that one. So ls-lrt, right? So these are the files and the folders or the directory present inside Unix training folder, right? So to identify which one is file and which one is folder. So I told you if there is nothing is written here only one hyphen is present that means this is a file. But if D is present so initial character is D then you can identify this is a directory. So in this tutorial we will see how we can create a directory and how we can navigate from one directory to another directory using cd command. So let me clear the screen. To clear it, just type Ctrl L. To create any directory, we can write mkdir that make directory and give the directory name. Let's say my directory name is test. Right? So this is a directory. Test is a directory that we are creating. So now the directory is created. To see whether a directory is created or not. So you can write ls hyphen lrt so it will show the last access file or the directory. So here you can see the test directory is created and what is that single that initial character is d that means it is a directory. So using mkdir you can create the directory. Also we can create multiple directory at a time mkdir you can give the directory name test1 again i am writing this is test2 another directory and test3 so here i am creating three directory at a time to see whether these are create, created or not so i can type ls hyphen lrt so you can observe here these are the three directories which are created now test1 test2 and test3 so using mkdir you can create a directory now we will see how we can navigate from one directory to another directory let me clear the screen so we created three directory here test1 test2 test3 ls hyphen lrt if i want to go test1 directory so what i need to write cd cd is the change directory and give the directory name test1 so now you can observe here it is unix training because we are currently we are present in unix training directory now i am changing this into test1 directory so cd test1 you can observe here now this is test1 to see in which directory we are present you need to type pwd what is my present working directory so now it is showing inside unix training we created another directory test1 okay so using cd command you can navigate from one directory to another directory so to make you understand clearly or more better so let me create you know many directory structure see here this is here our current folder unix training so inside unix training so i have created two directory abc and xyz we will create this one and we will see and inside abc again i created a1 and a2 again inside a1 directory so we need to create a11 and a22 similarly inside xyz we can create x1 and x2 directory so we'll see this one 
so please remember this directory structure so that it will be easy for you to practice let me go to the screen and clear it so we'll see what is this cd dot dot so currently we are present in unix training this is the structure what i am drawing so inside unix training i will create abc xyz at a time i will create all this directory structure how i will create let's see so mkdir then abc then xyz because they are in the same level again inside abc i am creating a1 again inside abc i am creating a2 again inside abc a1 again inside a1 i created a11 similarly abc inside abc directory go to a1 directory inside a1 directory i created a22 directory similarly for xyz directory inside xyz directory i created x1 directory similarly inside xyz again i created x2 directory so whatever structure i have given here the same structure i am creating all the directories now all the directories are created to see if i will type ls hyphen lrt and you can see here only abc and xyz is present so where is this a1 a2 a11 a22 x1 and x2 so if we will go inside abc we can see a1 and a2 so to navigate from one directory to another directory or to change the directory we need to write cd command cd stands for change directory and give that directory name which directory you want to navigate which directory you want to go let's say i want to go inside abc directory so cd abc so now you can see here it is abc so inside unix training we are in abc directory if i will type pwd what is my present working directory so it will show inside unix training i am in abc directory so to see what is the content present inside abc directory so we need to type ls hyphen lrt let me clear the screen ls hyphen lrt so you can see inside abc we have a1 and a2 observe clearly here inside abc we have a1 and a2 you can observe observe this diagram also inside abc so we are we have a1 and a2 directory if i will travel to a1 or if i will go to a1 directory i can see a11 and a2 directory So how I can travel from A1 directory to A11? To travel from, from ABC to A1. So CD A1. Now I am inside A1. You can see what is your current working directory, present working directory path. See inside Unix training we have ABC and inside ABC we have A1. To see what is the content present inside a1 ls hyphen lrt so this is inside a1 we have a11 as well as a22 again if we want to travel or if you want to go to a11 so cd a11 so now we are inside a b a11 directory you see this is the complete path how we are you know traveling from one directory or we are going from one directory to another directory so again if you want to come back one directory means currently we are in a1 directory if we want to come to a11 direct a1 directory how we'll do that cd double dot so we are coming back to one directory 
now see this is a1 if you type pwd you can see this one abc and a1 again if i want to come to abc abc director so cd dot dot one step back now this is abc again if i want to come to unix training so cd dot dot so this is where we have started and we move to a double one directory similarly we can also go to xyz directory cd xyz this is my present working directory xyz if to see what content is present inside xyz directory ls hyphen lrt now see inside xyz we have x1 and x2 directory to go to x1 directory again cd x1 right so inside x1 so we have not created any directory or any file so currently we are in x1 directory you can you can see this path properly okay so now if i want to change to the user's home directory so here clouder is the user so to travel into user's home directory you can type cd only cd then press enter or cd this till symbol either you can give cd till symbol or it is only cd so you can see this is my user's home directory this is user's home directory let me clear the screen again we can go to our training folder so here we have all our directories and file okay so now let me travel to abc at a time also you can give a1 if you remember the structure a11 so if i'll type pwd so i can see here unix training then abc then a1 then a11 right so now if i want to go to my root directory so cd forward slash to change into a root directory you can see this is the root directory okay now this is cd only enter this is users home directory i hope so you got a clear idea about how to create a directory and how to navigate from one directory to another directory if you like my video please subscribe and share among your friends so that they can also learn unix thanks for watching